Hey everybody, welcome to this video guide for One Piece World Seeker on the Xbox Series X. Today we are completing the side mission Prison Tower, and in this side mission Luffy has been hearing some rumors about Zoro, so we are going to head to the Prison Tower to follow up on those rumors, and we are going to be rescuing Robin. So let's get started. To begin, you are going to head to this location in Ruby Village. It is marked on your map so it is easy to spot. You're just going to be heading to this location and you will start hearing them talking about the warden fighting someone and it is the pirate hunter so you're going to go and find Zoro. This is a story related side mission so remember this is required for the main game as a whole. After that awesome cutscene, we are going to be getting in a fight with these robots. It is a pretty straightforward fight, but since they move around so much, it's hard to get a hit on them sometimes. So if you want to skip this fighting sequence, because I do take a long time to beat them, it's a little embarrassing, but I'm not going to cut it. I don't see the point in that. I want to show you guys how difficult it may be. I am playing on hard difficulty, so that may also factor into it. But just follow along and use the time codes to your advantage, like the one I'm highlighting right here to skip this fighting if it isn't relevant to you. My strategies for these robots would really just be to aim for the head and get the critical shots. Sometimes you can make them land on the ground, which gives you a good chance to attack them. But I found that if I were to run up to an enemy and jump, you could attack them in the air and that could hit them, do some substantial damage, and sometimes ground them and force them to be you know, easier to hit. So just keep it up, keep attacking them, keep laying hits on them. Their attacks are pretty easy to dodge, you won't take too much damage. So it is all just a battle of attrition and it shouldn't be too hard after you get the rhythm down. Mm. 
since there is no way directly up the prison tower, we are going to be heading up to the walls of the fortress, I suppose, and heading to the complete top. And then we are going to be gum gum rocketing our way over. If you have the gum gum rocket boost, you will go much farther. But if you have the gum gum UFO ability, then you will be able to make it no problem. Once you arrive at the top, there will be a quick dialogue. After the dialogue has completed, we are going to use our observation hockey to see the green person through the walls. That is Robin. We are going to head to the most northern cell and we are going to interact with the door. There are two guards right nearby. You can sneak by them, but for me, I just took down the first one and then the other one I fought wasn't too much trouble. Once you do interact with the cell door, you will be in a fight with none other than Tashiki. So get ready, make sure you have good equipment, equipped I should say, and you have good skills purchased. Now that Tashigi has shown up, get ready because this is a pretty difficult fight if you are on a hard difficulty and you don't have many skills or weapons. The attacks that she uses are pretty repetitive, they're not too much so you won't have too much trouble learning the rhythm of the attacks. It is just the timing is so fickle sometimes so you want to make sure that you have at least perfect dodge unlocked that would really help you out in this fight like that attack right there that just happened that oh my god that one can give you so much trouble but if you dodge at just the right time using perfect dodge you can freeze time and get some good easy attacks on her so definitely take advantage of those windows of time where you can just well on her and get your shots in use your critical shots to your advantage it will definitely help you in the long run. It does some easy damage and you can be far away from her so she can't do easy attacks on you. She can get to you really, really quick so you gotta be really nimble. You can't use the armament mode. You wanna make sure you are using the dodge mode. I can't recall what that is, observation mode I suppose. So you wanna make sure you are just being as fast as you can to dodge. Throughout this fight, I am in red for a good portion of it so just remember that you want to make sure you are on your toes for this fight because it can be really difficult if you are not prepared, just like I was not prepared. Thank 
そうねうん行くぞなおだウィハブフリードロビンウィアゴインティエスケーピングトルビーヴィレッジウォンツィドゥアライブデーユウビアンコンバセーションウィッドロビンエンジオン And that is the side mission complete. This one is again story related, so it is important for you to complete it for the main game as a whole. So I hope I was able to help you out, and I will see you at the very end of this video once we turn in our side quest. All right, like I had said, that is side mission complete. Once you speak to Robin and Gian, you have completed the side mission. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stick around and subscribe to my channel for more content like this one, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.